CIG is looking to push server meshing to new heights as well as some more star citizen news. Let's talk. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know though I'm doing a giveaway for the Drake Carter Nords first play. All you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment today. Today's the last day, okay? So um make sure you leave a comment in any video and be subscribed. All right. So let's get straight into this video. All right, guys, really exciting stuff. Just not too long ago, we just heard from um CIG through the message of the day. They look to, they're looking to uh do a uh, server matching test again in tech preview so now what's interesting about this one is that they're looking to push it to up to 2000 uh, players on one shard so um based on the optimizations that uh based on the data that they retrieved from the last test and all the optimizations that they've done they're thinking that they could push it all the way up to 2000 that's that's mind blow i never thought that they'll even attempt something like that but uh this is what we're hearing so we'll have to see how this goes today so be ready for that um it will be available to everybody once it drops so make sure you hop in and to help test server meshing all right so in other news cig released some more information in regards to uh citizen con this year um we've gotten the schedule up as well as the um show floor so let me quickly uh get into that let me show you guys what i'm talking about so based on what they have uh shown here uh this is what the show floor will look like all right this is what it will look like um once um it, it seems like they're going to have a, a natural ship size i guess replica of the hornet and uh this speaks to squadron 42 so i'm, I'm super excited i think we're, we're gonna get an announcement for squadron 42 and i'll tell you why uh, very shortly so this is what that is and um the goodies pack so an interesting thing about the goodies pack is that uh for a very long time right we've seen the squadron 42 player character and the squadrons within the squadron 42 story they have a special suit that cig said that we'll never get our hands on until squadron 42 is released and that is what this is this goodies pack right here this armor set in squadron 42 it's blue okay in squadron 42 it's blue but this time around it's uh they're giving us the white one a grayish uh black one okay as well as the p8 is also a gun that we weren't going to see until squadron 42 releases so this gives me some indication that um cig is going to make some announcements um in regards to um squadron 42 this coming citizen con so that's that's super exciting yeah so up next uh there was um in the latest uh starts us off with 3.24.2 patch for evocati the player base did notice that uh cig is looking to slow down the ships even further um forgive me i'm there's construction nearby the house okay so um yeah cig um has slowed down the uh the boost speeds of the ships um i believe up across the board and some of the members from the um, evocati uh testers uh posed the question as to the rational be behind why they're slowing the ships down even further okay so um i'm gonna put this on the screen um there will be it says here from yogi in response to that question and it says here um yogi says there will be a few tuning adjustments but nothing groundbreaking for uh 3.24.2 or 4.0 we will start working on a new fm not sure what that means um topics uh right after 4.0 stuff that is already working in my internal builds it says control services with smoother transitions jerks less magic accelerations for edge cases new tricordian mm -hmm. limits literal axis are dominant during maneuvering you get um about 1g more on the lateral without exceeding the acceleration limit option for unstable flying meaning velocity vectors are less stable while you're within speed limits 
but that's prepping stuff. In general, we want to try out a different tuning scheme where we less drastic acceleration so it takes more time to reach max speeds. And there are also a couple of things Chris Roberts want changed. But all that stuff is a post CC, post 4.0 effort. Really interesting. It says, well, aside from change tuning due to the change loadout, of course. Really interesting. So at the end of the day, the way things are in, in regards to uh, mass Samoas and, and slowing down the ships, ultimately, it's what Chris Roberts wants, right? If there's a mandate coming from Chris Roberts and that's what's going to happen, there's a reason for it, right? So. Um, I think I'll work on a video um, in regards to um, master modes just to showcase what I think CIG is aiming for and as to the reasons why they're slowing down uh, ships in general. And I think it'll make sense once you sh once you see um, what I show in that video. OK, before I let you go, I'd like to let you all know that my organization, Phase One Industries, is now recruiting new and better players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.